right over to meteorologist Scott Haney, who has the latest check of your forecast. So when can we expect the heat to really start uh, climbing, Scott? So today we're going to get to 90 degrees, Nicole. Wow. It's going to be hot today, but the humidity levels will be fairly okay. Oh, okay. It's tomorrow that the humidity and the heat, the temperatures start moving into the low 90s, if not the mid 90s by Friday. So it's going to get a little tough Thursday and Friday. Not only tomorrow are we dealing with heat, but we're also dealing with the threat for storms. And those storms could be a little rough. All right, let's talk about the fog that's out there this morning. Half a mile in Willimantic, Waterbury, zero, two and a half in Danbury. Uh, we are talking about some low visibility out there. Thursday and Friday, 90%, uh, excuse me, 90 degree heat, increasing humidity, chance for severe storms in the afternoon. Friday, dangerous heat and humidity, heat index over 100 degrees. It's going to get really tough around here for Thursday and Friday. Heat advisory has been issued for the entire state for Thursday and Friday. Uh, and unfortunately, that means, again, those heat indices over 100 when you combine the relative humidity and the temperatures. And this is also concerning. The severe threat is really great for tomorrow. Not today. We're not expecting any storms today. It's going to be a beautiful day, a hot day, but a beautiful day. Classic summer day with 90 degree heat. But tomorrow we do run the risk for showers and thunderstorms. All right, our satellite and radar are going to widen out the shot. Not a whole lot going on out there right now, which is some good news. The day ahead proves to be sunny. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Temperatures marching into the upper 80s, if not low 90s at Bradley and at Brainerd. More of the same for the immediate shoreline. Temperatures there will be a little bit cooler, but uh, still abundant sunshine. It's going to be a warm day along the shoreline as well. 10 days of 90 de uh, thus degree heat thus far. That's what I'm trying to say. Today will be 11 12, 13, could get to 14 on Saturday, so we'll keep you posted. Yesterday we got to 89, so close to 90, and we picked up an inch of rain at Bradley. Another inch of rain. Look at all these days with rain, and some of them have been incredible. Three, one and a half, one, 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 one and a half. It just adds up to about 12.43. It is, of course, the wettest July on record at Bradley since we've been keeping those records back in 1905. It's also the fifth wettest month on record of any months since we've been keeping records back in 1905. So that's just how wet it's been at Bradley. All right, our visibility, Nicole's yacht looking pretty good, basking in the sunshine there in Old Saybrook. The fog is burning off. Still a little touch of fog in Torrington. Good morning to you. New Haven, 69 degrees and calm. And we are taking a look at New London, also absolutely beautiful out there this morning. Our early warning future cast tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of not a lot going on during the day today. But tonight, we'll see a little bit of an increase in cloudiness. So we'll call it partly cloudy. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., there could be a brief shower. Uh, rolling through in the very early morning hours until about noon. But the main action comes in the afternoon and at night. Here we go. You'll see them bubbling up. This is 7, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then it kind of winds down and then we just have an isolated shower chance on Friday. Temperatures out there this morning are delightful. 63. Look at this. Salisbury, Torrington, Waterbury, Meriden, Willimantic. All delightful this morning. And it's going to be a hot day today, but a fairly comfortable day. Ample sunshine, hotter than yesterday. Tomorrow, hotter yet. Friday, hotter yet. Alerts for Thursday and for Friday for the potential for strong storms and heat tomorrow. Heat on Friday. Saturday afternoon, the cold front rolls through in the afternoon and evening, and that'll lower the heat and humidity for Sunday and Monday. Let's check out your early morning forecast. I'm meteorologist Scott Henney. Nicole was